So in case you've been living under a rock for the last couple of months, AI, and specifically chat AI, has taken off in a very big way. A company called OpenAI has been top dog for quite some time with their implementation called ChatGPT. But more recently, Microsoft and Google have announced they're also getting in on the action with their own versions called Bing GPT and Google Bard. If you're not familiar with these AI chat services, they are designed to understand and generate human-like responses to any question you might ask of them. To accomplish this, they use a form of AI called deep learning. So up until now, we've been used to putting our questions into Google and receiving an answer in the form of a list of articles and videos that relate to our question. However, now with these AI services, instead of getting a list of articles and videos, we're actually gonna get an answer as if we were talking to another human being. Microsoft has already started to integrate their Bing GPT service into the Windows taskbar with their latest Windows update. And Google will soon integrate Bard directly into Google Search. However, Apple has yet to mention any plans to create a similar integrated service for Mac OS. Instead, there is an alternative thanks to a great developer called Yordi Bruin, who has created a neat little app called Mac GPT. This will let you use OpenAI's chat GPT service directly from your Mac's menu bar. To download Mac GPT, either search for it using Google or I will link to it in the description below. Whilst the app can be downloaded for free, if you're feeling charitable, you can also send Yordi a few bucks by way of saying thank you. Once downloaded, simply drag the app to your applications folder and open it. Before you can get started, you'll need to create an OpenAI account if you haven't already. This can be done through the app, although I found it wouldn't go any further after verifying my email address, so I needed to close and reopen the app to log in. You only need to go through this process once, however, after which the app will forevermore open up to this screen where you can start typing your questions. Clicking on the settings icon will provide you with a couple of different options, perhaps the most useful being the ability to add a shortcut key combination to open the app. Simply click into the box and then press the keys you wish to use as your keyboard shortcut. You can also open the app at any time from the handy icon on the menu bar. This means that you can access chat GPT even when you're in full screen mode within another application. Sadly, the app only exists for Mac OS and not for iPhone and iPad. Of course, a quick search of the Google App Store for similar apps will bring back a whole host of alternatives. However, I would recommend steering clear of all of these and instead downloading Bing for iPhone or iPad, which will give you access to Microsoft's version of ChatGPT. The only annoying feature of using the Bing app is the insistence on having to sign in using a Microsoft account. Finally, it's also worth going back and checking out some of Yordi's other apps available on his website, which if you're a Mac user, I think you'll find very useful. So that is how to get ChatGPT on Mac OS. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in a, in a completely legitimate way of getting Microsoft Word for free on your Mac and learning the proper way to delete apps on your Mac. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.